Hey team, um, today I wanted to make a little video on um, how to open a session back up after you have exited a session with Pear Deck. Um, I know that I had followed all the instructions to be able to have my students on student paced mode, um, but I wasn't quite sure how to actually go back and reopen that and see what my students have done. And so I um, searched online and I found some videos that were helpful, but I thought that I would just go through this with you as well. So this is a presentation that as you can see, um, I've already actually, well, you may not, can't see, but I've actually already, it's a Pear Deck slide, show that I have already linked onto my Google Classroom and my students can see it and they are able to go through it. Um, but I actually haven't, like I, I exited it in a way so my students stayed on student paced mode. So I thought, well, I want to go back now and see how I can do that. So the way that you do that um, is you are going to go back to your Pear Deck home page. Now, I have uh, linked mine down here um, as a... Uh, as a favorite for myself, but if you just Google it, it'll be app.pairdeck.com, and that is going to be your presentation page. Um, sorry, it's slow internet. So what I actually did was I um, just typed in Pear Deck Home, and then it's going to take me here to my um, home page because we're linked with our Google Class or our Google accounts to it. If you just go to home, you should actually automatically log into your account. So here uh, it says my name, and then this is my home. And so if I click on um, my home, I'm right here, then it, it, there's lots of things that I can do here, but really what I want is I wanna look at my sessions. So I'm gonna go here to my sessions, and now I can see everything that I have launched as student paste. Um, now notice that some of these, I didn't actually name them before I um, before I exited them. I can actually go back and rename those sessions, um, but it's gonna make me open it first. So I can open the dashboard. Um, I can click on that session. And you can either see the presentation, but I wanna see the dashboard because I wanna see what the students have been doing. And so this is going to get me um, all of that information. Okay, so when I do that and I open it up, this is going to show me um, how many students have interacted or have gone on the slide presentation. This one isn't super interactive. It only has a couple of things for the students to do. But then I um, can look and see on each of those slides what those students have done. So this lets me see um, who has responded and if I kind of go over this that it shows me who has done something. And then like if I have a kid down here like this student then I can check in with them. It also shows me the students that I um, have been on the presentation but haven't responded. So I could maybe reach out to them as well. And then like here, this shows me uh, student responses as well. And you can get it as a list, so it just scrolls down like that, or you can get it as a grid, or you can overlay it. And this gives me both of the answers at the same time. Okay, so going back up to this presentation and this session, um, if I want to, uh, rename the session. All I need to do now is I just need to click on these little um, dots right here and then I can go here and I can name the session again. So here I'm gonna say ALL uh, module 3 and then I'm gonna save that session name. All right and then again um, I don't necessarily have to leave this open because I can always come back to it. So I'm gonna again end, but I'm gonna allow my students to keep working. That means that the link is still live, that they're still gonna be able to work on it, but I don't have to keep this presentation open on my computer. And then if I went back to my sessions, it would be there again, which is pretty cool. 
All right, so that is how you find your sessions and reopen them on Google uh, or on Pear Deck Slides if this is something you're using. All right, thanks guys, bye.